Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a um, ship with me video again. I'm trying to do these every Monday um, and these are just weekend sales, Saturday and Sunday. So I did pretty good. It's usually about seven or eight things. I mean, that's pretty good for me. So let's just jump right into the things that sold. So the first thing that sold over the weekend were these men's American Eagle jeans and they're size 48 men's. And I took an offer of $35 and I profited $25. Okay, we're gonna put them in a tie back mailer. And I'm gonna wrap them up. They sold on Poshmark as most of my sales did sell on Poshmark. So we're going to wrap them up like that. And they are going to Ocala, Florida. All right, first sale down. Second sale was this Unico floral print dress. Beautiful maxi dress. This brand, it looks like that, Unico. And I think it's sort of like a fast fashion, size large, full length maxi. And um, it feels similar to H&M. Um, don't hold me to that because it might be a little bit better than H&M. Put a couple stickers in for her. And I do need a piece of tissue paper. And it is buried. Bear with me. All right. Okay. So we got some tissue paper. Floral print tissue paper. I don't buy tissue paper new. Um, I source it. I mean, it's new, but I do source it. I'm not going to go spend $3 for tissue paper. So whenever I see it secondhand while I'm out sourcing and thrifting, I pick it up. All right. Forgot my intro, but I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And I started um, selling on eBay back in 1999. I think the company started in 1998. Um selling Pez dispensers, if anybody is that old and remembers. And during that time, I also started selling on Amazon, and it was before Amazon what it is today. Amazon was a auction site back then. Okay, next are these two little pairs of earrings, a pair of hoops, and a necklace. And $13 was the sale, and I profited $8.03 but I only paid like maybe a quarter for them. And so I have some stuffing in here in the box. I use these old VHS video boxes that you can still get for free on Poshmark. And so I sold both of these, like I said, for $13, which was an offer, and I profited $8. All my jewelry, $25 and under on Poshmark, I offer buy one, get one free to give anyone who buys from me a good deal because I get it, you know, pretty cheap and it's mostly all vintage. And I have, goodness, I think I have about 3,000 pieces. Um, so that's how I sell that. Again, right here. And going to Houston, Texas, as do most of my sales, go to Texas. Done with that. One more jewelry sale and I make it look kind of, you know, pretty and special. And these are uh, some coin earrings and I think they were Canadian coins. Um, one pair was Canadian coin earrings and then the other one was some beaded earrings. Going to Maryland, again, box already has some paper in it so it doesn't shuffle around too much. And these um, sold for 25 and I profited 20. And again, profited 20, but paid only a quarter 30 cents. So it's fine. Okay, and those are going to Maryland. And again, VHS box. That's what I usually use for, for all my jewelry. Let's reinforce it with some tape. Um, I do have these new little cards that say my name, Michelle, a uh, fashion reseller. Um, on Poshmark and eBay and I like to put those just started putting those in there so people can check out if they purchase it on Posh they can check out my eBay and vice versa all right so let's do these shoes 
these dance school shoes and these are a size 37 like new black nursing shoes and they also these are all poshmark sales i'll save the one ebay sale to last so these sold for let's see sixty dollars they sold for sixty dollars and my profit was 48 put some paper in there to protect the leather i think they're oiled leather um Okay, there we go, and then cover it, Ooh, noisy, sorry about that, and I get these big huge rolls of thank you stickers on AliExpress for I think $4, and you get I think 100 so I have a little sticker, and we need to tape it up. I've been having most of my sales on Poshmark versus eBay. I'm not sure why. No rhyme or reason. Um, I think a lot of people are getting bored with eBay and moving on to Posh. That being said, there's been an insanely increase of just cranky mean people and lowball offers. And when I say lowball offers, I mean you're trying to sell something for 80 and they're offering 8 or 10 um which is just ridiculous so uh there's been that and then there's just some people claiming things aren't um aren't authentic and i don't even sell luxury but there's just it's not what you say it's how you say it we all know that and people have been like vultures my goodness so that's just what's going on right now it's not going to be like that forever so if that is happening to you too try not to get discouraged um, it's, it's easy. It, it's easy to get discouraged. I, I know when you get three or four either cases being open or just mean people, you just want to say, you know, why are you being so mean? You know, stop it. But you can't. Okay. Next is a bra and this is going to Idaho. And this bra was a Torrid Curve bra, 40H, really big size, sold for 22, which left me with a profit of $15.58 bubble wrap envelope um bra sales have definitely picked up i sell bras on the weekly but now i'm selling several bras um like a bra a day <laughs> so anyways with bras i pick up all my bras for 249 and i try to sell each one for about 20 so so that there could be a profit Next is a Torrid Curve bra again, and this is an underwire, under, underwire purple bra, and this one sold, oh, there we go, my one eBay sale. So this one sold for $25, and I profited $22.50. So that was my, oops, got to be careful while multitasking. So it's going ground, not priority. So I need a ground label, just one moment. Grown label. Okay, poly bag. So these are my white poly bags that I use for eBay. That um, I ship everything ground on eBay unless they want to do a pickup, and um, it's a lot cheaper because, as you know, if you are a reseller or a buyer on Posh, Posh does uh, charge just under eight dollars to ship up to five pounds, which is still remarkable that you get up to five pounds because if it was a five pound package on ebay and it went west coast it would be 25 30 dollars so you do get people complaining about having to spend um eight dollars for shipping on posh if they buy it's no, it's normally um jewelry buyers if someone is buying some earrings for 15 dollars, i get it you don't want to have to spend eight dollars for shipping and that's why you're supposed to encourage them hey by the way you could ship five pounds and still only eight dollars so take advantage uh sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't okay the last item second to last um is this again torrid again <laughs> torrid ribbed sports bra and she is a size three again torrid curve and these were three different people mind you so maybe people are um with summer coming usually you tend to see an increase in athletic wear because people want to get in shape for summer because you're wearing less so let's give her a summertime
sticker, shell sticker, and a little bumblebee. Actually, no, stay groovy, baby. I like that one better. Okay, so we're going to put those in the bag with the bra. Okay. And this one is going to Montana. And since this is posh, we could just use a poly um, bubble wrap. It's going priority mail. Okay. So, my last sale, which was an overnight sale, and it was the best sale that I've had. Um, and I'm shipping it in this box. And it was 12 pairs of earrings. And they sold for $200. And I profited $160. So, that was really good. And, again, I have that some paper in there and, you know, made a thank you card. When people are spending that much, you want to take it a step further. You want the sticker, um, you know, extra stickers, thank you card. And I think I put a little free ring, some Easter grass and just make it feel like they're getting their money's worth. Um, which they are technically 12 pairs of earrings. If you brought 12 pairs of earrings anywhere, you know, it would be a lot more than that. So, okay. Um, so this was the best sale of the night because I think all in all it was, oh, I think it was about a $418, something like that, um, weekend sales, but mainly because of this jewelry sale. So it is nice when you sell a bunch of bread and butter to also have a larger sale. Um, there we go. And it's going to Seattle, Washington, just like that. And that was my eight sales that I sold. And I'll be back next Monday uh, with a What Sold Weekend sale. Um, and so thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.